Yeah, I started in 1957. Uh, I, was, I was six years old. Uh, my father had uh, been involved in ancient fife and drum corps for a number of years. He had uh, learned to play the fife and uh, had followed all of the, uh, the great individual snare drummers down in the Connecticut area, you know, at, at individual competitions. And he was a meticulous perfectionist. And I was on the single roll and the long roll for a year and a half. I don't know if... Uh, today's uh, society and today's kids would have that kind of patience. Uh, but we went through all of the rudiments one by one until you finally learned all of the 26 rudiments. Tell me a little bit um, in terms of the style. I, I, things have changed so dramatically over the years. Um, you know, the, the way we used to play uh, Earl's method was a uh, stroke was like full up and, and you, your sticks were here and you use a full arm to hit the beats with. And, that was the same system under which I was taught. You started with your, your hands at eye level, you brought the arm straight down, and then there was a rotation of the wrist and the elbow. Right. And that, that motion would be consistent as you gradually got faster with the rudiment, except that the hands would just gradually come closer to, to the head surface. Right. I, I guess the major difference between uh, a snare drum player's then versus today is that we could generate incredible power because you had not only the the impetus of the wrist but also the the the, the forearm and the elbow you yeah. know moving toward the head surface right. and really kind of played into the head and then brought it out i remember the first time i think that i heard frank play <laughs> he came up to chicago he'd moved from connecticut and he began teaching the cavaliers and and i was uh, a little kid you know a snare drummer just learning what it was all about and we heard him play and our mouths were just I mean we were in awe of of the way and the volume that he you know brought out when he was playing it was just awesome well that was the, that was the same reaction when I first started taking uh, lessons from Bob Redigan he just had this I mean it would fill up a room it would fill up a, a, a football field definitely just this incredible <laughs> volume I, to this day, I mean, what you're saying is a, is, is a similar experience I went through with Bob. And, and, and all, of the, all of the guys down there, that's the way they played. It was, and all of the music was written in a, a kind of a, a hieroglyphics, which seven would be a seven-stroke roll, and an F would be a flam, and you'd have the right, left, right, right for a paradiddle. And, and that was basically the way, the way you learned, by grouping together all of the rudiments into a selection. There were all of the standard drum beatings, which all of us... Uh, in Connecticut, uh, in, in that process, Connecticut halftime, uh, uh, there was straight six eight, crazy army, uh, all of these traditional beatings, which uh, you know obviously had their their origins in either the Revolutionary War or Civil War, and you know those were, were some of the standards. And then obviously customized solos were were devised by your instructor through the groupings of the rudiments. But I remember seeing you. And I was standing off in the corner with Bobby Thompson watching you play, I believe. I, I know that Bobby had, uh, Jimmy Hurley competed in that competition, okay. so right. I'm sure probably Bobby was probably around. Uh, that's one thing that all of those instructors, they used to, it was almost like, uh, they were almost like stage managers. They used to watch their guys and everybody else. And, uh, right. So it was kind of interesting. Yeah. So you competed, you said, six individual championships? Yes. National championships? So tell me about how you did in those. Well, um, the, the five All-American uh, National Individual Championships, I was runner-up twice, and uh, I was the champion three times. Three times. Wow. It was really, I, it was really kind of a special time because there were so many great players, and uh, we, we developed these great rivalries and, in the process, great friendships.